again to the shop. Today we're going to take this brand new brass, solid brass casing Zippo lighter and we're going to turn this from a plain brass object which is actually quite nice as it is. Um, the if you went to the shop and bought one of these, just a plain one of these, cost you $50. They're not cheap. So I'm going to show you how to turn this $50 lighter into a $100 lighter with your fiber laser. So we're going to jump into EasyCAD and I'll show you how to do it. So this is EasyCAD 2 and it's the program that normally operates fiber lasers so I'm going to, I've got some artwork already um, so what I'm going to do is going to file download vectors now so I've pre-made some vectors uh, from a piece of artwork uh, in Cavco Maker Plus, actually, and I've showed I did have many vi of my videos showing you how to do that. This one, okay. So we'll just grab this and put it somewhere near the middle for now, and we will make some sort of hatch pattern on this so really this is just the vectors okay now we come to the hatch which is at this top corner uh, let me see hatch number one uh, it's enabled all calc I explained in the last video what all calc uh, meant um, yeah, this one's okay, I think. Um, and this is actually, this is my normal setting for a roughing cut. We'll call this a roughing cut or a roughing etch, uh, which is uh, 0 0.01 of a millimeter, which is, uh, it, it doesn't leave any scan lines behind this. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, scan two. I think that... Um, we're, no, we're not going to enable that. We're just going to do a... Scan three, not enabled, not enabled. That's okay. Um, I'm going to do several different scans, um, but I'm going to do them separately. Um, I don't want to run three scans together. Um, so this is this is fine. I just want to run this one scan and I want to do it and I'll alter this to continuous. And I'm going to say okay. It takes a, a you know a few seconds for the the program to calculate all that out and when it goes black like that uh, you know it's finished calculating um, now we're going to go to the power setting now if I can keep my head out of the way so I don't want the standard power setting so I'm going to come out of that and black layer um, I want 1000 uh, oh, I better put a zero on the end of that. 1000, and I want this at... I want this at 90... 90 I'm going to go 95%. It's still not nice to run even a fiber laser at 100%. I don't particularly like running things flat out. And 20 hertz. Uh, I'm going to do 25 hertz actually. 
25 hertz and I'm going to say that's fine. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is set the height of the lens to make sure it's in perfect focus. Alter that very slightly. So it needs to be 167 millimeters to the underside of this lens. I should make a gauge actually to um, do this rather than with a, a ruler all the time. Okay, so that's pretty well set there. Now I've set this jig up so I know I can put this in exactly the same spot each time. So I'm going to put that there. And this here. And I'm going to move, move this up a bit. Okay, I've brought you in from the side because for some unknown reason, uh, the camera focuses better there. I'm just going to move this now slightly. Okay, so I'm just going to red light that at the moment and uh, see where it is in relation to uh, what we have on here. So let's red light that. Okay, so it needs to come over this way and down this way a bit. Okay, so I'll stop that a second. Just having a last check to make sure it is exactly where I want it. I've actually turned it around. I'm happy with that. So here we go. And I've turned the lights down a little bit to uh, focus in a little better. Hopefully you can see better. So here we go, we're marking.
So it looks a bit black, doesn't it, at the moment? But uh, we're going to change all that because uh, I'm going to I'm going to buff this up and um, polish it, and it'll be okay. So, it's really as easy as that. And I think you will probably agree that the, if I can get the light right in this, the end result is pretty, pretty damn spectacular. Let me bring it in closer. So that's what a fibre laser can do. And it can produce some really, really beautiful uh, designs and jewellery. And, well, the sky's the limit, really. Whatever your artistic uh, abilities can think up, really. <laughs> So it's just started to pour with rain out there, so I've got to come to an end with this video, otherwise you won't be able to hear me speak. So, um, thank you for joining me for this uh, fibre laser demonstration, we'll call this, of carving a design or engraving or etching a design with a fibre laser into solid brass into this Zippo lighter. I think that's beautiful. And of course, you know, it it can be any design uh, that you, you wish or if someone comes in with a drawing, you know, you can put that into Cavco and make the the vectors and put them into easy CAD and out it comes. So, so this is just one example and uh, I'm really pleased with that. And the more you can customize it for the individual client, the more you can charge. Of course, you know, there's a limit but, um, you know, this is, what, 20 minutes work maybe? It's somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes work. But, you can make $50 profit. So don't forget, like and subscribe. And if you like what I'm doing, and if you've got this eye, you probably do. Um, you can help me in a number of ways. You can like subscribe and down the bottom down there somewhere just off the off the picture there's a hat uh, if you click on that you can buy me a cup of coffee if you like whatever you you feel or if you want to become more involved and help me a little bit more you could become a regular patron patron information is down below this video in the video description area where 
you will get lots of help with lasers and CNC rotors and CNC milling machines and blades and all sorts of things and the supporting programs oh below this video too there is a discount code for Carefco any of the Carefco products and also 20% discount on Fusion 360 big mouthful okay so thank you for joining me and uh, bye for now